Welcome to Ben's Experience. In this video, I will share with you how to assign inventory to a location in Shopify. First, visit Shopify.com website, then click on Login, fill in your email address and password, then click on Login. In the case of already existing products or added already added products, just click on Products. Now click on the product you want to assign its inventory to a location. In the case of a product with multiple variants, to assign its inventory to a location, scroll down to variants. In my case, I have this color variant with two variant options. Now click on one of these variant options. You will arrive to this page scroll down to inventory now we are talking of the inventory of this specific variant now to assign inventory to a location first click on edit locations to see which of the your current or active locations on your shopify store are selected for this product first i will uncheck this option next to all of my locations then click on save and now instead of a single location i have two locations i can assign product or this variant for the old location has 16 variant or inventory and let's say for this new added location click on this little arrow and i will select adjust available and adjust it by 10. As you can see, now I can see 10 new inventory is added. And for the reason, I can, I can, I can select, for example, receive it and hit save. And now I have 16 of the inventory is assigned to, to the first location and 10 to the second one. And the total is 26. Now, if you want to edit the inventory of the second variant, just select it from here and scroll down to inventory click on edit locations select your desired location hit save and you can assign always make sure to adjust available and not move to unavailable because this second one is the opposite of this one let's say you have i will go with adjust 10 Let's say you have 10 available uh, of the inventory on this first location and I want to assign these 10 products to the second one. So here I will select move to unavailable, click on 10 and select the reason. I will go with other because I've moved the same inventory to the second location i will go with save now i have zero zero and here i will adjust available and not move to unavailable i will give this 10 and here i can see or i can go with receive it and hit save and this way i've assigned the same product to multi to a different location this is how to assign inventory for already existing products in your online store let's say you want to assign inventory for new products click on add from the products page click on add product in my case this is the info of the new product And here in the inventory step, if you see all of your available location, this is good. If you want to uh, deactivate the allocation for this product, click on edit location and uncheck it from here. Click on done. 
and you will not see it from in this inventory page or section in my case i will go with two active locations and here let's say i have 10 bar shops in the first store location and another 10 for the second one before we continue i want to let you know that you can get access to my online course called shopify for beginners today for free inside this course you will learn many things including how to get started with shopify how to set up your online store add products and collections manage your store pages and navigation add payment methods launch your store manage it but also doing marketing for it to get access to all of this today plus my other available online courses inside my university just go to university.bensexperience.com link in the description without any further ado let's continue our video let's fill in my sku my product weight is 1.3 pound and i have one variant of this product click on save product created now if i go to the inventory page click on my newly added products and scroll down to the inventory i can see that i have 10 of on the first location and another 10 on the second one with a total of 20 and this is how to assign inventory to a location in shopify if you still have a question leave it in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like thank you